Welcome to another game of Amateur RMTG. This is Connor. I'm playing a new list, Breaches and Malcolm. This deck focuses on moon effects and making my opponents wish they got a basic. Chaser here, following up with Alaundo the Seer. I'm looking to Twiddle Storm combo in Simic using Alundo to draw and pseudo suspend a whole ton of cards and eventually uh, one with a number of different infinite outlets, one of them including just Thassa's Oracle without consultation. This is Hercules. I'll be playing Obmixilis Captive Kingpin. I am intending to ping my opponents one point of damage or one life loss at a time, get a bunch of value, and hopefully combo kill for the win. This is Demigod. I'll be piloting Ashling Flame Dancer. My goal is to copy a copy and then basically drive down a one-way street and kill my opponents. Sweet. Free game. None here. Exile. Oh, wait, I like that oh. one. <laughs> I have that. I will exile Mishra's Bobble. I'll exile Ghost Fire Slice to jumpstart Cavern right. to get a luck counter. Yeah. Any other pregames people may have forgot they, nope. they had in their hand? I've got three ley lines. Draw for a turn. Polluted Delta. And I would like to search. I'll get an island. <laughs> <It's> telegraphic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a Mox Diamond. Pitching a Volcanic <laughs> Island. Go to my end step. Pass the turn. Nope. Oh, sorry. I'll end just up there. All right. I'll untap. Keep and draw for turn. Like to cast a Chrome Mox. Imprint ETB trigger. I'll throw a Summoner's Pact under there for some hey. green mana. Play a Flooded Strand. Crack my good fetch. Pass on that. And because my brain is already screaming, Danger, Will Robinson, Danger, Danger, I'm going to grab this island. <laughs> I'll find this dude. You've already affected That's the game. funny thing. It's like I already have a, you know, one of those effects out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to tap Chrome Mox for green and put onto the stack Elvish Mystic, then pay with the green mana. I'll send it. Sweet. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hopefully it's a banger. Scary. Scalding Tarn. Crack it, lose a life. I okay to search. Mm -hmm. hmm. Look at a Badlands. Oh, I did it. Risque. <laughs> See if this bites me in the ass. Then I will cast a Kessig Flame Breather. Oh, shit. Not a Mouth Breather. Move oh, deck and pass. That was all. All right. Go to draw. Tap for a red. Cast Faithless Looting. Are you good at that? Mm-hmm. Discard Lightning Bolt and Cathartic Fire. Go down Sokens on as my land for the turn and pass. Yeah, I'll keep draw. Hell Lion's Eye Diamond. And we'll tap and cast Malcolm. You got it. Got a man step past turn. On tap. I'll keep move to draw. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move through phases on past turn. Oh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Snow covered mountain. Desperate ritual. We'll deal one damage one damage each opponent. I was making sure it wasn't lost of life. Okay. Desperate ritual in the stack. Got it. Mm -hmm. Cool. And use my floating mana and cast Omnixilis. If I risk the poke and lose something permanently. Yeah, screw it. Move to combat. Mm. Chaser coming at you for one. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. Trigger Good. and exiling forever. Oh, Atlantic Discharge. That would have been nice to point it at Malcolm. Move to step. Last turn. Okay. What's that? I'll keep draw. Okay, two life for Volcanic Fissure. Then I'll tap two. Cast Felwar Stump. I will pass. Uh huh. Untap. I'll keep draw. Tap that for a soul ring. Play a zorn. So oh, we can make extra treasures. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, move to combat. Yeah, I'm gonna poke you for two. Spell blocks. Create two treasures. Use and a treasure. For a gilded drink. That's rough. I mean, I guess he really wants that elvish mystic. <laughs> I'll pass for again, gilded drink. Yeah. Pass. I'd like an odd next list. I'll bet you would. All right. Well, enjoy it. Nope, oh, it's got one counter. Sorry. Go to my end step, pest turn. Your end step. I'd like to flash in a Scrib Ranger. I pass on that pro blue guy. Ah, nice. I was hoping Malcolm would swing this way. Just like, ha Hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good. All on tap. Upkeep. Move to draw. Holy Jesus. It's okay. Don't hurt me, please. Fetch. Pass. That is an Obnix trigger. Yep. Sadly. Two more then. 
Exile. Exile, you can cast it till your next turn. Till the end of your that's turn. That's order then. <laughs> nice exile, Chief. Just so you needed more mana, right? Yeah, that's not really what I need at the moment. Horus. Basic? Yeah. Yeah. He's done it, guys. He psychologically warfared us into getting basics. Didn't even have one of those effects. Yeah. I'd like to put Alunda on the stack. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, that's all. Hold up my pro blue flyer. I will untap. In the face of who blue flyers. Upkeep. Draw. Can't do anything about the Rakdos one. Play a Cobalt Pit. That's flankable. Anything I play helps you. <laughs> no dead stuff. <laughs> Any of your instants and sorceries. <laughs> you can play a creature no, no, or an enchantment. Non-creature spell. Oh yeah. shit, that's right. Pass the turn. Okay. You can play c- creatures. Go to draw. Cast okay, Ashling. Here we go. I will move two steps and pass. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. Yeah, let's get the crypt. Come on. Load of colorless. Yes, breaches. That one uh, does a lot of text. What's it do again? Uh, whenever one or more pirates I control deal damage to your opponents, exile the top card of each of those opponents' libraries. You may play those cards this turn. You may spend mana as well as mana of any color for those spells. So it's like a ragavan on steroids? Pretty much. Sweet. And he has menace. He's 3-3. Three, three. But not um, bad. We'll send Malcolm your way and Ognixless your way. Is he a pirate? Mm. He's not a pirate. <laughs> He's a demon. No blocks. Six five. I will declare no blocks. Yeah. You do. And we all reveal that part. Uh, just, just just the people who got hit by pirates. Just the people that got hit by pirates. To you. Okay. Did you get your two treasures? Hey, I look did that. Two treasures. Oh man, look more mana. That's what he needs. More mana, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Remember, screw beats flood. <laughs> Unless you're playing EH, I guess. Yeah, I will go to my end step. That will go away. And pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. We'll move to draw. Take one down and pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We had this reason. Gilded Drake on the stack. I pass. There you go. <laughs> I'll show you if I request. Wow. Because it's very obvious where that's being played. Yeah. Bigger year in green, so that would stop. If I do it now rather than when it hits the field, stops those other green spells. They're going to spin out and do it in response. Pass. Yep. Yeah, sure. I'll draw a card. I'll exile a worldly tutor. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll let that happen. Sweet. Blast of the Drake. Uh, I'd like to cast a Lotus Petal. We're going to put green. Activate. Yep. Screw Ranger picking up my forest. On tap, Alundo. Pass on all that. Mm-hmm. Well then, play forest as my land for turn. We another green. Another green. Eat my Lobus Petal for a white. Why not? <laughs> like to put a one ring on the stack. Pass on that. Cool. Sure. All right. ETB trigger. I'll gain protection from everything until my next turn. I will move through and pass the turn. Tap, upkeep, draw. Hey, that's something. We can maybe do something in this game. Maybe. I am the one player person Pirate Blast works on in that game, so. <laughs> not true. I have a blue creature. Uh, I will cast Prosper. I lose one life, so you get another ob trigger. Prosper spicy. Vegas of the moon. Well, it's fun why we had it, folks. <laughs> fun why we had it. Um, Man, safe. Shoot. Woo. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. Move to end step. Trigger prosper. Edit you. Sorry. Your gemstone only gaps for Exile red. this. I can play this mountain yeah. until my next turn, probably. Hey, my spell watch down is only gonna tap for red, too. So I'm just gonna put it under prosper. That means I can cast it or play it. No, no, it'll tap for blue and green. It's all you, Chief. Okay. <laughs> put it on tap. I get to grow obvious one bigger, oh, too. That's right. I'll keep draw. No mountain. Move to combat. I'll attack Connor. I'll take four. Okay. Okay. Then I pass. Untap. Mm-hmm. Keep. Roll for crypt. Odds. No damage. Draw. 
Yeah, we're going to attempt to cast the Magnus of the Moon. Mm -hmm. um, then there will... So we're going to mount for our Jessica as well. I have three cards in the end. I have two. I have four. Are you going to get a gun? Attempting to get four red. I go to top three. I'd like to spin my one ring. Sure. That's all that. Mm hmm. Bird encounter on it. And draw a card for each bird encounter on the one ring. I'll pass priority on Jessica as well. Good. Trigger you. Okay. I cast dual strike. Trigger Ashley. What does that do? Dual strike says when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell with CMC for less this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. So I'll discard draw. Pass on the trigger. Maxling. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Discard molten duplication. Draw card. Sure. I'll pass priority on dual strike. Yep. Yeah. Dual strike resolves. Priority returns to Jessica's roll and stack. I'll pass on Jessica's roll. I pass. Okay. I will then cast Return the Favor, Spree 1. I'll copy, target instant or sorcery spell. I will target Jessica's will. Yeah, yeah so I'll copy Jessica. Jessica's will. And then the copy of Return the Favor will target Return the Favor. And then, yeah, I'm yep. actually trigger on cast. And, uh, last, and on copy. You have so two. this will deal two damage to each opponent and each creature they control. And then when the copy is made, it will also tr trigger to gain four red mana. And you also so have oh, so you've just got infinite draw, looting. So you've just got infinite looting right here. And yeah, I have discard draw, discard draw. Yep, on both of those. This, yeah, that is definitive infinite looting. Yeah, right? The one targeting Jessica's will, or the one targeting food return the favor. Yeah, we'll we'll target the original. Okay, so mana drain counters the original return the favor. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so that's off the stack. Yep. Yeah, I have the copy still on the stack. Yes. Currently with no legal targets. Okay. The next way. Halfling's trigger on the stack. Two, two triggers above it. Mm -hmm. Two damage to all creatures and, and each opponent. And four mana above it. So, uh, any more responses to me getting four red mana? I'm just watching. My script ranger's going to die, so I might as well. Yeah. I'll respond to the damage trigger. Okay, I, I or, well, which, whichever one is on top. I have a loot trigger right now. Yeah. And before you loot, I'll spin that Lundo. Draw and we'll this noxious revival that will then put a worldly tutor on the stack. Yes, mm -hmm. yep. grab a chakra Let's retriever, chakra retriever on top. Cool, okay. And I'll bounce using my screw rager to untap Alundo. There you go. Okay, so I'll discard a braid and draw a card. Yep, uh, then I'll deal two damage to each. Component and each creature they can Yep, done. That kills your dorks. Just done. Just the dorks. Damage to all my guys, but they don't die. I take no damage. Yeah, I have protection. Loot again. Yep. And four red. Ah, uh, yes. The Jessica's will. I'm holding two cards now. Two red men. Up three. Activation. Head is. And get probe. Yeah. Let's get probe. Target. I cannot be targeted. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, God. Oh, uh, you're kind of worthless up there. Yeah, thanks, buddy. So, oh, yeah, too. And I'm not over it. You do need over it. I'm feeling kind of worthless, too. There's no good target. It makes me feel any better. Know. They might as well use them or leave them. Did you draw your card? No, I did not. Playing Opora. I have to do this kind of weird. I'll try. That hasn't been weird enough. Unsanctioned is the sticker. So five red. Malcolm. You pass on Malcolm. Oh, yep. okay. Yeah, four red mana flow. I do. I pass on Malcolm. The last treasure and the last floating red for Kettis. The pact was off to Jessica's will, so you may play it this turn. Yep. Yep. Okay. Go to. At least it wasn't all the objects because they get it. Go to combat. Yeah. I hate it. Go for it. Breaches and objects. What's going over it? Have you got 10 to the long? Yep. Chunk. I take 10 trigger, as well. Yeah, trigger Kettis. 
a H will put the top card. Yeah. Well, so there you go. Um, opposition agent. Snow Ever. I do trigger Malcolm. Yep. I get two treasures. Oh, how many cards he has in hand? Nothing? Yeah, he has money on it. Yeah, we'll crack it. Lines I don't. Enjoy my deck, friend. Three black. Go <laughs> <laughs> man step. Passenger. Uh, hmm. I'll spin Alondo. That's good. Step. Drawing card. Well, exile a shocker retriever with. So bump it up to five and cast the other one. Silly guy. I should. You're right. I need to get better at that. Cast this for free. I'll target my script ranger. Got nothing to say about that. Yep. Script ranger back on top. Alrighty. Got my turn. On tap. I will respond to the one ring trigger by tapping it. That's good. To dodge the obnix to draw. Puts a bird encounter, then draws the cards. Yes. Then I take two from the one ring. I will now move to my draw step. This deck's already done what I wanted it to do. <laughs> yeah, you, you kinda, you've done the thing. It's me. Yeah, probably right. gonna be number one. It's hilarious. I like it. Nope. Jeweled Lotus. Just as a backup, I suppose. I'll play a forest for turn. Do you have anything that does one damage to yourself? <laughs> I'll get there. Don't worry. Do it. <laughs> I will tap Chromox for a green to cast a Utopia Sprawl, targeting my forest. Pass on that. Color are you picking? Blue. Except to kind of, you know, non bows a little bit with my Script Ranger until I get another forest. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to spin Allo Undo. Draw a card. And I will spend this bridge works battle. Three time counters on it. Drop this to four. Stop. I will tap float two blue and one green. So green and one blue. And I'd like to cast a dramatic reversal. I pass. Oh, uh, cast Pyroblast. Uh, <laughs> Pyroblast. This is Sorry, one game. Dramatic. You guys are evil. Trigger Ashley. Trigger Ashley. You guys are evil. I'll uh, discard a card. Yep. Uh, I'll not respond to the trigger. Draw a card. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'll send it. Fierce Guardianship targeting the Pyroblast. Seems pretty good. I can't respond. So. Yep. Dramatic Reversal Resolve. Yep. Untap here. I'll spin One Ring. Draw three. I'll spin out Londo. Draw a card. Exile. Sanctum Weaver. Two counters. Two. Step down to three. Have four, a green, spend my floating blue. Pass that Scrib Ranger. Pass on that. Yep. Yeah, I think I just chill. Move through and pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, drop. I cast Hedron Detonator. It's a two, three, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control. I can have it deal one damage to target opponent. I can also tap it, sack two artifacts, exile top card of my library. I can play it this turn. Now I will play Ancient Tomb, when I play a card from Exile, I create a treasure token. The only real target I can do here is I'm going to shoot Connor for one because I can't afford to grow up mixes anymore. What's, uh, looks at hand is pretty exciting. Move to end step. Exile a card with Prosper. It's an Imperial suit. That's a pretty good. That's not a good card right now. That's no, not, oh, not wait, good at all. wait a minute. That's not good. That's right. pretty horrible. That yeah, pokey. Better draw. <laughs> 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 You need to face breaker. Face breaker. Oh no. Yep. Pass on PFB. Yep. I'll send four at Chaser. I'll take the four. Okay. I don't think that's the scary part. You get a treasure. I'll make a treasure. I'll sacrifice the treasure to exile the top card of my library. I might play that card this turn. I have play. not, in fact, played a land this turn. I'll play Blast Zoom. I'll okay. enter with one large count. And stuff. Pass the turn. On down. Keep odds I'm safe. Same. Straw and yeah. treasures, and Jeez, we're in trouble. Play a winter moon. Players can't untap more than one non basic land during their untap steps. Move to combat. Everything has to be got. Yeah, they do kind of hit all of us. Yeah. Goddamn, get us. <laughs> I'll take 12. Turns out, so will I. They're all commanders. Weird. Three commanders. I get three treasures, and I get the top card of everyone's library. Wondering. Oh, shit. Arcane Signet. A delighted halfling. I think one is going to get cast here. I've cast in my deck. 
Is it reveal or exile these? I assume it's exile these. They're exiled. Oh, they're exiled. Okay. Let's cast one, right? Cast this and then use that to cast the. <laughs> Man has <laughs> options. I could have. Uh, let's tap the one ring. Get a burn. Draw. Let's uh, spend three treasures and chaos work that one ring back into your deck. Well, I think that's the spot where I'm supposed to respond probably. I'd like to use my Scrib Ranger returning this force to my hand to untap Alundo. That's on that. Yep, yep. I'll spin Alundo. No. Uh, I will then exile this spell skate two and then drop all these down. And then one ring gets warped back into my deck. Yeah, Alright. I have a one I have one rule with chaos warp, and that is the person who chaos warped the deck flips the top. Fish. Out. Anything else, big shoots? That's it. Um that's up next turn. And, uh, upkeep. The worst fish of all time. <laughs> Uh, I'm not paid for that. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, nobody has hands. Worst fish of all time. Yeah. Move to draw. He's got one card. He's probably not playing his cards, and I have nothing. I'll play this for us. Whack. I'm going to spin Alundo again. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, XL this mobilize. Take these down. Two cards get put on the stack. Uh, Sanctum Weaver and Bridgeworks Battle. I'll put them on the stack in that order. Sanctum first, then battle. Pass on both. Okay, yeah, you got uh, Bridgeworks Battle. I guess technically it has to. It is targeting Alondo and. Uh, mm. I'm going to hit Op Agent. I think that's my play to win. Okay. So Alundo will fight Opposition Agent. Okay. Um, he gets plus two, plus two until end of turn and fights up to one target creature out of control. A 5 7 will fight the Op Agent. Yay, bye Op. Then Sanctum Weaver. Is cast. It has haste for the turn. I will tap for one blue. Here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, green, and I'll use the floating blue for benefactor's trove. I pass. Untap all my creatures till end of turn. Whenever creature and opponent controls blocks, I draw a card and it draws a card. Untaps all creatures, by the way, not just mine. Like every creature on the board. I got nothing to say about that. Pass. Yep. Untaps all creatures. All creatures. Oh, yep. Interesting. Yes. Uh, Untap. Yeah. Untap. We'll draw off the benefactor's drought, and here we're gonna spin alone though. Again, draw. We'll exile this rhystic study. Three spells coming off of suspend, shock and retriever, spell skate, and mobilize. Yep. Pass on everything. I'll spin sanctum weaver for another blue. Mobilize resolve. Untap my creatures. Spell skate resolve. Shock and Retriever Resolve. Uh, whenever I cast a spell during my turn, I will untap target creature. Well, we're going to spin alone, though. Draw a card. Instill Energy. Yeah. Taking that down. Just to get this to go, I think. I have to. That was an Elixir. Trigger Shock and Retriever. That's not that. Targeting Alundo. Mm -hmm. Spin Alundo. We're going to exile this uh, Misty Rainforest forever, unfortunately. But that will take these down. Then puts Instill Energy on the stack. Yeah, which triggers re Chakram Retriever. Weird how that works. Yeah. So the Chakram Retriever trigger is first. I'll untap Alundo with Instill Energy still on the stack. I will choose target. Oh yeah, Instill Energy is targeting Alundo. Okay. Yes. Because uh, it's the enchantment that lets it once to turn untap itself. I will spin Alundo in response. Draw a card. Pitch this bird's paradise. Rhystic study. <laughs> then goes off the stack. Alrighty, trigger shocker retriever. Target Alundo. I'll untap Alundo with shocker retriever's trigger. Spin it in response. Bring a card and exile. You know there's loops in the game that can end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pitch a uh, the grasping dunes with Alundo. Take off oh, Bird's Paradise onto the stack, trigger shocker, and untap Alundo, spin in response. Draw. Uh, Alundo's gonna put out Thoracle. Oh, finally resolving. Yeah. Bird's Paradise will come in. Has haste. First stick steady resolves. Instill energy resolves onto Alundo. I will use instill energies once per turn ability to untap Alundo. I will spin Alundo card. And we're gonna just 
I guess exile this mental misstep. Gonna get a value with Oracle here. I'll tap Bird's Paradise for um, red to activate a thousand year elixir targeting a Lundo. Tap him. Spin. Draw. Pitch the Mystical Tutor. Trigger here. So, you. I cannot cast the misstep because there's no legal target. That is just gone, gone. And the Thassa's Oracle goes onto the stack. Uh, yes, this one gets the counter. Trigger Shocker Retriever. <laughs> Untapping a Lundo. Spinning a Lundo. Yes, this is with right. Oracle on the stack. Okay. Uh, a Lundo will pitch the Shrieking Drake. Moving Mystical Tutor. Putting Mystical Tutor on the tr stack. Triggering Shocker Retriever. Untap a Lundo. <laughs> Spin a Lundo. Uh, we're going to... Exile the breeding pool, I guess. And. Shrieking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trigger Chakram. Untap. Well, at least I'm making sure that there's no floating Alundo untaps in between each of these on the stack. So that's. I'm trying to make this simpler. Oh, sorry. City of Brass. Okay. Alright. Finally. <laughs> Shrieking Drake will enter. I'll return a creature to my hand itself. Uh, Mystical Tutor will then. Pass. You know, why not? I'll grab. Legolas' quick reflexes. So that seems really good. Top of the deck. Last is Oracle then resolves. One, two, three, four, five. I'll look at my top five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'll keep this mystery card on top and bottom these other ones. Three, and I think it has. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's see here. I'll have. I'll make three blue with Sanctum Weaver. Use it to. Uh, no. Cast a Shrieking Drake. Trigger Chakra Retriever. Yep. What are you targeting with Chakra Retriever? I'll target a Lundo with the cast trigger. Okay. Cool. Uh, Chakra cast trigger happens and all that. We're going to spin a Spin a Lundo. <laughs> I'm going to use my Scrib Ranger with a Shrieking Drake still in the stack. Bounce this force to my hand. Untap Sanctum Weaver. Okay. Tap for three green. There is a way to destroy lanes in this deck. For one green, channel besage you target blast zone. Shrieking Drake is still on the stack. Soul Ring, I think, over there. I don't think that one's being a game, so I'm just gonna let it go. And now we're good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Is it untapped, right? Yes. Does not come in tapped. It comes in untapped. Okay. So, Alrighty. Shrieking Drake. ETB. Turn a creature I control to my hand. I'll return itself. I will then spend one blue to cast Shrieking Drake. Cast Trigger Chakram Retriever. I will target Sanctum Weaver. Yep. Sanctum Weaver untaps. Yep. We'll then tap for three blue. So you've got all the blue I'll make an infinite amount of blue. blue. I'll then repeat to make an infinite amount of green. I will, in the middle, I'll drop out a Legolas's quick reflexes on a Lundo. So I'll kill all of our creatures. Yep. Uh, and I'll, so. Because every time you use the Drake now with your infinite mana, it untaps correct. a Lundo. Yes, I'll use him to untap a Lundo. And, and we're going to. taps Legolas's like, quick reflexes, nukes one of our creatures. Yep. <laughs> Repeatedly draw, exile a card with a Lundo, a land, spell, does not matter here. Infinite mana with these. I will then finish off with a Shrieking Drake to pick up Thassa's Oracle with an empty deck and use some of my infinite floating blue to Thassa's Oracle with an empty library. I got another. Nice. Okay. Give me back my commander. I'm so happy I didn't pitch that Besaju. 